Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my Colourpop order. Colourpop now shipped to the UK and I think this is my third order I've ever done to the UK. So in today's video I will be showing you everything I bought, swatches and I'm also going to be talking about shippings and custom and all of that. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. So this is the box it came on. As you can see it says customs fee to pay my order took about one week to come from the day it was shipped it did take around two or three days for the order to be processed but after that it took exactly one week the first two orders i ever made from colourpop i was hit with customs i made an order over 50 dollars which equals free shipping so i had to pay 21 pounds for customs which after spending so much money on the colourpop website is a real downer to ordering from colourpop i just really can't help it i just love colourpop so much their products are amazing quality for the price you pay so when you open the package so when you open it it looks like this it just has colourpop's logo and the packaging on the inside is so pretty like it's just really spring vibes so this is how my order came it first came with with a colourpop thank you card and also within the box you get this colourpop leaflet and it just kind of shows you all the different stuff they do okay so now getting into the actual products I did order quite a few products just to make sure it was worth it because I knew I was going to be paying a lot of customs. I bought four eyeshadows and they were actually doing a deal as when you buy four of their, their pressed eyeshadows you get a free eyeshadow palette that you can put them in. But I already took them out of their packaging and I put them in the palette it came in. I got two matte shades and two shimmer shades. This is a warm peachy brown colour in Wake Up Cool, a pink colour in Dreamboat, a shimmery kind of pink in High Strung and a peachy shimmer in pep. I've only swatched these eyeshadows so far, but they seem so creamy and so pigmented. So these are just two of the swatches of the shades. The last thing I got that's not lips, because everything else I've got is for the lips. This is the last thing I got, and it is, and it is a brow pencil in black and brown. And I've never tried anything apart from their lipsticks before so i was kind of excited to get this and see what it's like it just has the color pencil on one end and a spoolie on the other end and i think i got the right color i mean this seems like a really dark color and that's good because i have quite dark brows but i'm really excited to try this out and see how it works okay so the first two things i got for lips is a lippy sticks and a matching lippy pencil and I think these are part of a new collection these are in the shade boys town lippy sticks look like this and they're sort of a sort of like a pencil kind of formula and then I also got the matching lip liner so so this is the lippy stick in boys town and this is the lip liner in boys town I love the lippy stick formulas because they're so easy to just throw on every day. Okay, so these two ultra satin lips are part of collaborations that Colourpop do. So this one is part of the Amanda Steele collection. This one is part of the Hello Kitty collection. So from the Amanda Steele collection, I got the shade Jiffy. It's a really nice sort of pink colour. And my favourite formula from the Colourpop is their ultra satins. I find their ultra matte ones really dry and they make my lips look really cracked and dry. Just not really a big fan of them at all, but the ultra satin are my absolute favourite. They don't dry matte, they're really nice and comfortable to wear, they last so long and I just prefer them 100% more than the ultra matte. And from the Hello Kitty collection I got the shade Tiny Chum. This one here, I say it reminds me more of Trap by Colourpop, which another from the Ultra Satin I got in the shade Magic Wand. Actually a repeat buy, I already own this one, but I was kind of running low on it, so I had to pick up another one because it is like my favourite colour ever. This one is more of a orange kind of toned pink. And the last things I got from Colourpop are part of the are part of the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collaboration. First liquid lipstick I got is the Ultra Satin Lip. It's in the shade 0 .0. It's such a different colour for me, and I don't know. I would probably be a bit scared to wear it out. It's sort of a dark greyish brown, and I just think this is such a nice colour. So if you don't know who Kathleen Lights is, then you need to go watch her. I'll link her channel down below. She is like one of my favourite YouTubers ever, and in one of my last Colourpop orders, I bought her Aquarius Lippy Stick. And it was her birthday, like, I think, like, last month or a couple months ago. And she 
collaborated with Colourpop to bring out an, an ultra matte version, satin version and a glossy lip of her shade Aquarius. So it comes in a little trio like this. And I was so excited for this because I actually really love the Lippy Stick Aquarius. Cool, before I get into the swatches, let me tell you the problem I had with this. Um, the Ultra Matte and the Ultra Glossy came with the right shades, but for some reason the Ultra Satin came in a different shade. It actually came in the shade Jacquard, which, which I believe is part of their new, like, I think it was like Peach Collection. I'm sure it must have been a little bit of a mix up with the colours. I have emailed them, I'm waiting for them to email me back because I was so looking forward to the Ultra Satin version of it. So the Ultra Matte Lip is in the shade Aquarius 2. Very similar to the Aquarius Lippy Stick. It's a nude pink colour. I mean, let's be honest, all the colours I've ordered are nude pinks. So this is Aquarius 2 in the Ultra Matte. Although I'm not the biggest fan of the Ultra Matte, I am going to use this because I just love the colour so much. And I can easily put the Ultra Glossy over it. So the Ultra Glossy Lip is just in the shade Aquarius. It's quite opaque and you can either wear it alone or you can wear it on top of a lipstick. So it's this colour here and I just think it's a really nice gloss and I've been really into wearing glosses on top of lipsticks lately. Okay, so the last lipstick is the one that they accidentally gave me and this is in the shade Jack Quad and like it's, it's just such a bright orange like I would never think to buy this colour. I'm actually kind of excited to wear it in the summer or something like step out of my comfort zone a bit. It's quite an intense like ready orange colour. It's not a colour I would wear every day but when I go on holiday I am going to give this colour a go. So that's it guys for my Colourpop haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love Colourpop. Their formula is amazing and I think they have such a wide variety of products now. They also have like blushes and bronzers they've come out with. Although it is so much for customs, I don't think I'll ever stop ordering from Colourpop price. Whereas like, let's say with like Kylie Cosmetics, you buy two lip kits and you're spending already like $60. But with Colourpop, you spend $60 and you can get like up to 10 items. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. Please don't forget to leave me any suggestions you would like me to do down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.